children we are going to explain applications of flotation first one flotation of iron ship an iron nail sink in water while ship floats if we place an iron nail on the surface of water it sinks this is because the density of iron is greater than that of water the weight of the nail is more than the buoyant force of the water on it so the nail sink in the water on the other hand the ship is hollow and the empty space contains air this makes the average density of ship less than the water therefore a ship float on the water now second point point is flotation of man it is easier for the man to swim in the water in sea water than in the river water the reason is that due to the presence of mineral salt the density of salt in the sea water is more than the density of river water the weight of a man gets balanced by the less immersed part of his body in sea water as compared to the river water thus it is easier to swim in sea water than in river water flotation of ice on water the density of ice is less than the density of the water the density of ice is 0.917 g per cm3 and that the water is 1 g per cm3 ice floats on the water with the 9.10 parts inside the water only 1/10 part of its outside the water the reason that the weight of water displaced by 9.10 part of ice immersed inside water become equal to the total weight of the ice piece now fourth part is flotation of submarine a submarine is a fish shaped water tight boat provide several water tank a submarine can made to dive into water or rise up to the surface of water as when desired to make a submarine dive the tank water filled with water so that average density of the submarine become greater than the density of sea water and it sink on the other hand to make the submarine rise to the surface of water the tank these tank are impeded this make the average density of the submarine less than the density of the sea water so submarine rise up to the surface of water now fifth point is iceberg iceberg are dangerous for ships iceberg being lighter than water float on water with their major part about 90% inside the water only a small part is 10% outside of the water since portion of the ice were inside the water surface depend upon the density of sea water therefore for the driver of ship it become difficult to estimate the size of iceberg thus an iceberg is very dangerous for ship as it may collide with the ship and cause damage now next stop is veil the veil can sink or rise at their will veil have a special organ in their body which is called the swim bladder when a veil has rise up in water it diffuses air from its water into the bladder so its volume increase and its average density is decrease so it rise to the surface to dive into the sea they empty the bladder this increase the average density of the whale so it is sinks now next point is balloon a hydrogen or helium gas filled in the balloon rise in the air the reason is that the density of these gases is less than the density of air therefore the buoyant force experienced by the balloon due to air 
become greater than the weight of the balloon hence the balloon rise up under the influence of the net upward force